Yeah, what up, YouTube? It's your boy Zah back at you. Y'all saw it. But anyways, man, look. Shout out to POP, man. Shout out to everybody that's supporting the channel. Shout out to all the camaradas. Shout out to everybody really out there holding it right down. I know this COVID-19, like I said, it's a doozer. And for the people that really don't understand that it's a doozer, you absolutely ain't paying attention. So miss me with that 5G shit. That shit is bullshit. I could get into that, but that's not what this video is about. This video is to address a situation that seems to be arising and that's the over a song, which was the dude Blueface. You know what I mean? Blueface made a song called Garnia Sala. A lot of people felt some type of way about it. Even I felt some type of way about it. And I'm not even Mexicano, just feeling their pain. You know what I mean? But understand, it's, it's, it's one of those situations that usually I would get on somebody about it. But it's just not that type of situation where the dude outright just disrespected Mexicano. It, it, he made a dumbass song. But you, this, is what, this is what people don't understand. Blueface put out some shit, his album pretty much flopped, and dude is really trying to do whatever he could do to cop money, he's not broke by a long shot, but understand when you're making music, and if you don't continue to make good music, your shit starts to go downhill, and it's a little bit too early in his career for dude to go downhill, you see what I'm saying, so dude made a, a dumbass mistake, I won't even, you know what, I'm not even gonna take his side and say that it's a mistake, he, made, he he did something stupid. It was a mistake for him to make it, thinking that people were just going to look at the album and be like, ah, you know, this ain't like before when people would see Chinos making fun of Chinos and all that. This People take that serious, especially being in Los Angeles, knowing predominant, the predominant race right there is Mexicanos. Not to say that any other circle is smaller. It's just the predominant race in Los Angeles is Mexicanos. In the United States, period, Mexicanos tend to increase. Not only that, Hispanics in general... So, of course, somebody was going to feel some type of way about it. Then you got individuals like myself that run with Mexicanos that's going to feel some type of way about it. And then you got those who have friends that are, are Mexicanos, Mexicans for the people that don't understand, that they were going to feel some type of way about it. It's, it's, not, it's, it's offensive. The whole song is offensive. But I'm not here to really be like, oh, it hurt me like that. Because at the end of the day... It didn't do nothing to me. I just seen that it was a dumbass song and that's just what it is. But I know other people would take an opportunity uh, to try to incite other things. And understand this. If you're in Los Angeles, then you know race is a hotbed subject. It's always on the verge of blowing up. It's, it, it, it's never, it never dies down. It just simmers at the top. And, and, and due to the fact that uh, we've made some real progress in Los Angeles moving towards towards a better future and away from that more racist view like you know what you're black i'm mexican fuck it. you know what i mean people have moved in a positive manner people are really pushing for unity it's never going to be a hundred percent but the more people you get that are on that point the better off shit is because if you got one of those pages where everybody's like f each other then it's never going to get to that point and anybody that like i said other areas have been through a lot of stuff but los angeles in particular it's something about LA County jails and all that that is it's it's a hotbed. So when people do things of his nature, like make songs, understand he's trying to make money, but he just did something stupid. And I think that he's really thinking about it. Just to be honest, I think he's thinking about because he haven't came out and said anybody else has got on blue face head about anything. He's like, so what? But this one right here, he's been quiet, and it's understandable. The last time, what? Allegedly, sound fair, you know what I mean? That's what allegedly. So I'm not saying nothing, but I heard the homies got on his head, try to take his, you know, whatever. But so he got a, a a quick glimpse of exactly how quick shit can go sideways when you're dealing with certain areas, and that's just the way it is. But I see dudes on the internet calling for his head, like when on site rush him and all this. Look at this, how I say, if you're really with that smoke and you really want it like that, then don't tell other fools to do it. You just do it. And that's not sending shots at any individual in particular because this is in a gang of cats that said that pump up everybody else to try to move in a certain direct. And half the vultures ain't even from this arena. they from somewhere else trying to push a cause just because they want to get their name on the map. Or maybe they're obscure rappers or obscure fucking whatever, ghetto celebrities, whatever. But they, they, they use this in order to try to push a point that don't need to be pushed. No, There's going to be no riots in Los Angeles over Blueface making a song called Garnia Sala. And, you know, there's, people say, oh, what if we made songs like this? Then you would just make a song like this. And then uh, whatever consequences came about, then that's the consequence that you had to deal with. You know what I mean? It's the same way when you got homies say the N-word. 
some people are cool with it. A gang of blacks don't even trip on it, but there's a lot of blacks that find it very offensive. You got homies that find it offensive. You got whites that find it offensive, and it has nothing to do with them. It's just a simple fact that a uh, uh, author of a different race feels comfortable saying a certain word. To me, I don't mind. I don't care at the end of the day because it makes me absolutely none. It doesn't harm me. It doesn't take no uh, uh, money out my pocket. It doesn't do nothing. You're just a, a, an individual that grew up around a certain uh, people, and and that's what you 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 adapted to your surroundings. That's just the way it is. It's hard. Some people like the black swag. I mean, it's just it is what it is. You know what I mean? The same way you got blacks that like make on a swag. It's just difference of people. You know what I mean? You got, but it's a choice. All I'm saying is like the whole thing with blue face, and I'm gonna tell you why I find it so funny. This dude. Not Blueface, but somebody else on the internet. I don't need to say his name because he's a lame. And it's just waste time to constantly bring up this Vato's name. Like I said, I brought it up once and would never would never bring it up again unless I really had to. But there's an individual on the internet that dissed the big homies like it was nothing. He just, fuck this and F that. And if you want it, come get it. And not one Vato that's been pushing to get at this fool Blueface have got at him. Dill Vato's in an area to where there's other Vatos around him. If they wanted to get at him, it's not hard to say. I mean, it's not hard to see. It's not hard to figure out who he is because the Vatos constantly dropping his location. That's because he don't think, he thinks that nobody's really going to do nothing because, and all that shit would be kind of stupid to do it because the cops are so much on it. That's why I stopped speaking on certain individuals because people start paying too much attention to me. Anytime a cop pull me over, which I really don't get pulled over, but anytime a cop say he know me and thought I was, there, you know what I'm saying? That's when you got to start sliding back. So I'm not pushing for anybody to do absolutely nothing. I'm just saying, don't be a hypocrite. You want to get on about the about a song, but yeah, you got this peseta and these two fives just disrespecting the homies uh, like it's going out of style. And then you got certain lame fools that try to identify with them like, oh, well, they're still raza and all that. Nah, 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 nah. A dude, if a dude is black and he snitch, he's just, he's trash. Just because of Vato's made Ghana don't mean that he, he, he don't have to adhere to the same rules. And I seen dudes say that. And this, and, and don't get me wrong, it's, it's either them youngsters that's on them 6 9 type fools, you know what I mean? Or it's older cats that just felt like they did so much that they really don't want to get involved. And, and, to, and for the most part, that's a solid, that's a solid way of doing things. Just stay in your zone. I do the same thing. But don't try to identify with a peseta saying, you know, well, they did have a... Nah. As soon as you start saying that, I'll pull back off you. But that's all I'm saying. When it comes to this dude, Blueface, it's understandable, dog. Vatas are offended by it. And I'm offended by it, too. And I'm not even made Gano. But it's the simple fact that it's just a song, dog. And nobody needs to get in any wars over a stupid song. And and just to be honest, dog, blue, it's Blueface, dog. Look at this one. You really want to go to prison over that, dude? This dude ain't even a real gangster. Like, and that's not even no shots at him. But look, dude, even Blueface, dude, you're not even a real gangster. But fools will, fools will entertain it. Like, they do a lot of fools that got fair. Now, there's so many fools that I could tell you that claim gangs don't, ain't even from a gang, but they just claim it. And they're allowed to claim it because they got that money. As long as he keep lacing them pockets, he be good. Soon as he stop lacing them pockets, he will end up on a on on the endangered list. That's just how fools get down with it. But that's all I'm saying, dog. There's a lot on the internet right now pushing. There's a few of them pushing to get at this. Don't waste your time, dog. If you really want to get some stripes, go knock down these two fives. Cause I can guarantee you that one individual, as soon as they knock his noodles out his head, he's done. As soon as they knock his noodles out that whole two five movement, that shit gonna fall to the floor. It's just the way it is. That's why I stay in my zone, you know what I mean? I'm not, like I said, I'm not telling nobody to go out and do nothing. If I was you, I would just stay at the house, it's quarantine. Live your life, dog. Don't worry about these ones. Don't worry about stupid rap songs. It, but like I said, you know what I mean? I, I, I regress on a certain, on, on a certain point. If you're make on and you feel disrespected and you feel like you want to handle your business when you see that fool, fuck it. Sock him up, dog. Sock him up. You know what I mean? If you want to go further, I can't tell you what not to do as an individual and your mate, Gano, you have all right to feel disrespected. I'm telling you, dog, if you just pay attention to the internet, there's blacks that feel disrespected by that song. And there's just a lot of blacks that we don't fuck with blue face like that. You know what I'm saying? 
I'm speaking on it because it's double S all day. You know what I mean? But at the end of the day, I'm a man, and 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 putting my life on jeopardy as far as like going to prison for the rest of my life for an individual that ain't a speck of dust. It to me ain't even worth it. The the song on that sala is disrespectful, and I think Blueface knows it. Now if he starts running his mouth, then you know what I mean. This video will be a lot different next time. But I'm not gonna come on here and just go all in on the dude that sees a little kid to me, dog. Like, I mean, there's already homies going at him. You got the homie K2K on his head. You got other Rasa that's on his head. Get that money. That's how you get it. Take the money out of his pocket. Make people focus on you. Focus on the homies. You know what I'm saying? Don't, you know what I mean? Don't waste your time. Oh, if another homie, he put something out. I'm going to end it right, you know, real quick. But another homie put something out. He said for, for and I don't know the Vato. Duende, I don't know. Looks like a good homie. But he said something along the lines that Vatos that be clowning. You know what I mean? Like, you know, they, they overemphasize on the Cholo shit. That they should stop it. They should get socked up. It's like, a, it's like telling a black not to say nothing about slavery to another black. You know what I mean? Or not to... Uh, do the coonery it's just it's it's within their right now if another race do it it's disrespectful that's right but if your own race do it dog it is what it is you know what i mean it's this world is the mccain too fucking sensitive and i tell you like this the reason shit is going the way it's going and why bottles feel like they could just disrespect us every race it don't matter it's because a lot of motherfuckers have fell from grace a lot of us have regressed to the point, and not me, I still with my shit, but a lot of us have regressed to the point to where they, they feel as if certain shit is not even worth doing anything. The, the fact of putting in work has just went out the door. Nobody really trips on anything. You see it. I seen dudes say they walk by two fives. Of course, I don't fuck with them no more, but yeah, I mean, come on, dog. If, if, if we can, before we clean another house, we need to clean our own house. You know what I'm saying? It's just, that's what it is. You can't, we ain't in prison, so it's not like we ain't cleaning up other people's trash. Let them clean up their own trash and clean up ours. Them two fives that's out there running their mouth. Clean them up if that's where you want to go. I, I'm not tripping off of them. If they don't cross my path, I don't care about them. You know what I mean? Family, YouTube, get my money, and I'm out. Anyways, you watch and enjoy the rest of your day. My name is Zalf. Sorry this shit was just went on so long, but it's just... People just stay on me about this in this particular vato. And I'm done with that fool. You know what I mean? Blueface is no one to me. You know what I mean? If it ain't double S, I don't care. You know what I mean? And on that note, I'm your boy Zod. And I'm out.